Micah tells us that the law is going to go forth out of time. Amen. That's not, thou shalt not, thou shalt, thou shalt not, thou shalt. That's the word of the Lord. That's the nature of God. Shall flow out of Zion, and all the nations shall flow to it. Amen. Amen. So it's probably vital that we stay in Zion. Hallelujah. Amen. And we'll get there eventually on that point where she tells uh, Ruth to mark the place where he shall lie. That place is the high calling. That place is Zion. In the Bible, you find that Zion is a place, and Zion is a people. Isaiah declares of it being a place. Amen. And Psalms tells you it's a people. So we're not climbing up Mount Zion or we're not marching to Zion this morning. Zion is marching. That's who we are. Amen. And so wherever we go, wherever the soles of our feet shall tread, there it shall be given unto us. So we keep walking. Amen. Sometimes the images aren't clear as they want as we want them to be, but we walk by faith. Amen. Amen. Not by sight. Do you realize if God would have shown you some of the things that we were going to walk by faith in this year, you would have walked into it. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 That's why it's required of us to walk by faith. Yeah. And that's really the essence of it. Because there is a work being done. Uh, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if we would see it all, and we would see the processing probably, he wants you to stay focused on the prize. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we hold that. But there's a processing, there's an unveiling. In Revelation, you find the loosening of the seals which is the removing of everything that's in the way of the Christ life within the believer. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, there's, there's earth-shattering things that take place. Amen. There's things that we hold, hallelujah, as doctrines in our thinking sure. that have to be removed. Absolutely. Right now, right now, right now, that's right. today, there are things and beliefs that we've walked in this building, this is kind of hard, things that we've walked in this building with that are anti-Christ. Sure it is. Absolutely. That's, it's, the word anti-Christ, it really, it, it's anything instead of Christ. Amen. Anything instead of the Word. Yes. Anything instead of the anointing. Anything instead of the Spirit. And we've walked in the realm, now listen to this, because you find this I want, and I want to just share this for a second. You find this, don't think that the, the, the area that we've walked in was not ordained. Even in the, in the, as far as when you come through these experiences with, with Pentecost and you find that, that there's a mixture in that. Right. That that is part of it. Yes, it is. That's part of it. Yes. If it was, if it's in the blueprint, then it's going to be and, and then in the building. Amen. And what we are looking at in this in this roof, see, you, when you look at the the Old Testament, so to say, let's just say it this way: the Old Testament is the blueprint. Hallelujah. Everything about it is shadows and types. Yes, it is. Now, if I had a blueprint of this building up here, Amen. You could look and identify everything in there, but you couldn't live in that blueprint. Right. Could you? But if I showed you the building, you could identify yeah, right. that everything that's in the blueprint corresponds with what's in the building. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So what, what we're doing here is we're looking at this book of Ruth as the blueprint of the church of God. Amen. And I don't mean the denomination, the church of God. No. All right? It's the bride of Christ. Amen. Okay? There's, there's, it's, it's the Israel of God. It's the Shulamite in the Songs of Solomon. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, one of the greatest teachings that's ever been taught in this church is on the Songs of Solomon. Hallelujah. And it opens up by declaring to you what the Shulamite is. What does it mean? It's the feminine of Solomon. It's the soul. What is the soul? It's the expression. 
Amen. And this is the song of songs, the holy of holies. Hallelujah. It's the full expression of Solomon's mind. Hallelujah. His thoughts, his figures. And that's and that's what you see. You, 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 see what you, you can't do away with the Old Testament. But what you do is you walk into the Old Testament with the light of the New Testament. Amen. And, you, and if you see things like, like I, I've shared this before, if you, if you see things like uh, when, the, when, the, when, the, when the ministry of Aaron or the Aaronic priesthood was inaugurated, they brought everybody to the door of the tent of the tent of meeting. And blood was sprinkled on the altar. Right. And blood, come on, and, 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 and they were they, they had to take Aaron and his son, so he had to, to remove his clothing. And they had and, and, and Moses washed them, and then they put on the garments of the priesthood, and they and they he he, he, he took a, a burnt offering and he and he put blood on it, and then he took the oil and he, he had, did all this, and after all that was done, after all all this is done, it says the glory of the Lord appeared. After that, the ministry was inaugurated at the door. Now, who's the door? Who does John tell us the door is? Who does he, he says, I am the door, right? Amen. So they all gather at the door of the Old Testament. But that's just a shadow. Now, how much more is that taking place in our life when we gather too at the door? Amen. You see, when there's a, there, there's been another, there has been a truer, a more realer ministry. Because, see, that which Moses and Aaron, all that was, was just simply a copy off the real. Right. What we're walking in now is the real. Amen. We're not walking in the shadow. Amen. But if there was a glory that, that appeared in the shadow, it was a shadow of the glory. Amen. It was an example of the glory. Right. Hallelujah. But it can't touch. See, if I had a little model car up here to the finite detail, it's an exact model of a car, but you can't get in that car and ride. Hallelujah. You can't get in that car and drive. You couldn't get in that day and drive. You couldn't get in that glory and drive. But the glory we're walking in now, the ministry and the inauguration of that ministry we're walking in now, the day in which we now are in, you can get in and move around in. Amen. Amen. So that's where we're, what, what, what we're dealing with. It. We're seeing a picture painted in the book of Ruth. Of a church, we see a, a, a one type of, of, of church mindset in Orpah that goes so far and says, I'm not going any farther. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. She's saved, born again. But she's not willing to get, she's not willing to continue in the walk of faith. That's right. Listen, anyone that's, hallelujah. Anyone that's walked away from us was not willing to walk the walk of faith. Right. Amen. Right. Because in that walk of faith, you're going to be bruised. In this walk of faith, you're going to be crushed. And this is really where, where hallelujah, where, you know, I am just hearing it loud and clear. But see, Hallelujah. It's through this crushing, it's through this bruising that the fragrance is released. Amen. That's the only way. You want to make a meal offering to the God? To God? You want to be a meal offering? Then you got to be fine flour. Yes. Sure. Well balanced. Yes. Sifted. You can't be all out of sorts. In other words, you can't they, hallelujah, you can't be really overabundant in this realm and, and way down here in this realm. You've got to be well balanced. How did you do that? Sifting and sifting and sifting and sifting and sifting and sifting. But what the beauty of it is, like I said, the prize of it all is that you're going to be an offering up to the Lord. And it's a sweet savor offering. It's the one that fills his, his, his nostrils. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. And, and that's a whole separate study, but, but in, a, in a sense it's not because have you, have you, 
Have you felt the pressure? Yeah. I guess this is what I want to ask you. Amen, brother. All right. Amen, brother. Have you felt the bruising? Amen, brother. Well, count that all as done. That's right. That's the word. Amen. Count that all as done. That's right. Amen. Why? Because there's a prize set before us. It's the mark set before us. Hallelujah. All them shackles, all that stuff do you really, amen. And, I, and I'll just tell you this on a personal note. Hallelujah. In my life, there have, there have been things over the last few weeks, and I and I have sat there and I prayed, Lord, I'm not supposed to have to go through this. Hallelujah. I'm not supposed to have to deal with this. Hallelujah. I'm supposed to have to deal with someone else's carnality. Yeah. I'm not supposed to do this, and I'm not supposed to do that. And then I turn, listen, and then I find this little old lady that, 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 that her name is Elaine Cook, and she has these teachings on the burnt offering and the meal offering, and all she does is sit right there in my ear and declare to me, do you want to be an offering to the Lord? <laughs> Jesus stood in Luke chapter 4, and it says, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me to preach the gospel to the poor and all this. And then you find his verses down the road. They took him to the cliff and was ready to throw him over. What was happening? The bread of life was being crushed. It was being bruised. It was being rejected. And here the whole time I'm thinking it's all about what someone's doing to me. But in reality it's what he is releasing from me. Because I found these thoughts. These, I, come on. I found these things in my head that did not need to be there. I found these attitudes in me that did not need to be there. Hallelujah. Oh, you mean i got to deal with this day in and day out? Come on, I've extended mercy and they've rejected it. Do I really have to extend it again? Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And let me tell you, I didn't take one step back. Man, he had me take three steps back. And I looked at myself and said, you, <laughs> you have prayed, Lord, that I may know you in the power of your resurrection and in the fellowship of your suffering. And you've come to know that the suffering wasn't cancer. It wasn't diabetes. It wasn't all that. But it was the suffering of dealing with other people's carnality. Hallelujah, which exposes what was, hallelujah, being removed in me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, this is what's taking place. You want to come into the threshing floor? Well, come on in, baby. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah. Let him separate the, the, the worthless chaff. Hallelujah. That all that remains is the, is the wheat, the germ of life. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, it's a process. It ain't fun to the flesh. Hallelujah. But see, with all that stuff, we don't have confidence in. Yeah, and that's the very first thing to the high calling. You cannot in no way have confidence in the flesh. Hallelujah. You want to get to the high calling? You've got to get past that part first. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And see, this is what, what I'm trying to teach in this regard. Now, hallelujah. I, I told you there was 14 points that I had on the, the wardrobe. And in my mind, I was just going to just blow through that stuff. And man, because, you know, I, I mark the place. Man, that's all I can hear. Mark we got to mark the place where he shall lie. Right. Now that's great. Mm -hmm. But until you put on your best attire, you can't even see the place to mark the place. Oh. Yeah. It's just like with the whole book of Ruth. Everybody wants to jump to Ruth chapter 4 where, <laughs> hallelujah, he confirms all things in this redemption. And, and Obed's born and they'll come on and they, they stand around the elders and all them stand around and pronounce a blessing that, come on, that Ruth may be like Rachel and Leah. Come on, that, the, the, the very wombs that, that built the kingdom of God and, the, and of Israel, come on, that built the, the picture of the type of all that. And they talk about the, that Obed be like Pharez, which Pharez means breakthrough. Come on, and he'd be a restorer of life and we get all the glamour and all this and all that. But nobody wants to walk. Nobody wants to 
Hallelujah. Right now, nobody wants to do much in Ruth chapter 2. The local church. See, we still believe in the local church. Hallelujah. In, in the Bible, all the way through the Bible, there's always been an instrument for the kingdom to be brought forth. And right now, the instrument is the church. Right now, the instrument is the church. Hallelujah. And I have found in my life and my walk, no sooner than I've taught on this stuff, man, I in the last few weeks, I've had to become that virtuous woman who was not afraid of her household. And who, come on, who's not afraid of the snow season? Who's not afraid of all this stuff? That, come on, that's clothed in silk and purple, that decree things, that establish things. Come on, hallelujah, not based on what they see or what they hear, oh, but what's based on the, what the word of the Lord says is in my mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And not, hallelujah, and not when things seem to take a different avenue. I can't lose my ground on that. I, I still got to extend mercy. I still got to extend this. I still got to do that. Come on, hallelujah, even though it may be rejected. Hallelujah. 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 There at the end of Proverbs 31, it talks about her not being afraid of the future. She's not afraid of what lies ahead because she knows preparations already been made. Amen. And I'm sitting there thinking, why, why, why do I get up here thinking we're going to just finish this stuff in one day and it never happens? Because you're being endued with it. The word in Luke, he preached on this a few weeks ago. Tear ye in Jerusalem until you be endued or clothed with power. The same word there, endued, is also rendered all the way through there. Put, uh, put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. Put on the whole armor. So we could say, be endued with the Lord Jesus Christ. He's enduing you. <laughs> And it literally means to sink into a garment. God. Man, we've sunk into a lot of things. We've sunk into doubt. We've sunk into unbelief. We've sunk into carnality. Hallelujah. But now he is removing all of that. And we're sinking into a brand new identity. A brand new garment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And however long he says do it, we'll do it. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So the next one. I want you to go to, to Isaiah chapter 11. Now we above. Uh, hallelujah. We have discussed the garments of the priesthood. We have talked about uh, being clothed in the raw gold. That was Psalms 45. The divine nature. It says the king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is of raw gold. Hallelujah. Interwoven. It ain't patched on. It's part of it. Hallelujah. Come on. You can't rip it off. You can't remove it off. Unless you rent the whole garment. Hallelujah. And that's our identity. We, we, we went into 2 Peter 1 and 4 where it says that you're partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Next we went with the, the virtuous woman. She's clothed with scarlet, silk, purple, strength, and honor. But I want us to look in this, this this morning, and let's read the first five verses here. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah, that's reverential fear. That's worship. And let me just say this. Most of you know it here. And anybody who happens to come across this and listen to it. Anything 
any kind of salvation, any kind of walk with God, any kind of increase with your understanding with God or coming to a great relationship based on fear is not of God. Any end time teaching. Hallelujah. About the world coming to its end. And you better do this out of fear. It's not from God because God is not giving you the spirit of fear. Amen, brother. So anything in your life, come on, that's being operated on a basis of fear, whether it's you're afraid if you don't do this, what you're going to lose, or if, come on, hallelujah, it's not from God. It's not from God. Hear that. Hear that this morning. Amen. But he had given you a spirit of reverential fear, which is worship. Which is worship. Amen. Amen. And shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove the equity of the meek of the earth, and shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he lay, slay the wicked, and righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins, and faithfulness, the girdle of his reins. And this point four. Verse five. Righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins. And faithfulness, the girdle of his reins. The loins, hallelujah, speaks of the strength. The girdle speaks of strength. That's what a girdle's for. Strength. Amen. Amen. The loins, the reproductive areas. Hallelujah. How many knows Nehemiah 8 says that the joy right. of the Lord yeah. is our strength. Yeah. You want more strength? You just need more joy. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And this is what this, 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 and this, and in this scripture, I'm going, this is where we're going to go with this. What is being declared unto you right now? Is the branch man. That's right. Jeremiah 33, or 32 or 33, or, or no, Zechariah 6. Says there's going to be a man, and his name shall be the branch man. And he shall grow up out of his place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we see here what the place is. So we're dealing here. And there shall come forth a rod. Yes. The rod here is Jesus. Amen. The Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's going to come out of the stem of Jesse. Yes. Who is the stem? David was the stem. Hallelujah. David's the stem. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And a branch. Yes. Well, who's the branch then? Hallelujah. We've already got the rod. That's right. Hallelujah. We've already got the stem. Hallelujah. But who's the branch? Well, I'm looking at the branch this morning. Hallelujah. I'm looking at the corporate man. The branch is the overcomer. The branch, hallelujah, is the corporate man. The branch is the man child. The branch is this man, hallelujah, that the four living creatures had the likeness of. Hallelujah. The branch is the one, hallelujah, which he walks in the midst of in Revelation. Hallelujah. So what is it? It's the extension of the vine. It's where the life of the vine flows through. Hallelujah. 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 Joseph's branches shall what? Reach over. Come on. Joseph was a preserver. He had life. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that life reached over any wall. Amen. It reached over any limitation. Yeah. It reached over any boundary. Oh, it was an overcomer. Yeah. It overcome the beast nature. It overcome carnality. It overcome the harlot system. Yeah. It overcome Babylon. Oh. It overcome the famine in Egypt. It overcome, see it up. It reached over all that. Hallelujah. Because its life was not limited to the wall. Hallelujah. The wall could not dictate how much life was inside the branch. Hallelujah. 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 So now we see, we see this, 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 this development.
Sunday. In the same day that there's a one seven women taking hold of one man. Amen. Yeah. In the same day that the harlot system saying, let us wear your, come on, let us eat your bread, let us take your name, but let us wear on apparel. Right. The same day that all that's going on, the same day while that's exiting off the scene, the same way while there may be an existing Eli, but he's doomed to fall in one day, the same day that that's taking place, there is a Samuel who has heard the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The same day. Glory to God. It's not another day. It's the same day. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. Glory to God. In Revelation, you find that there's described the seven spirits of God. They stand before the throne. Which means they're in the realm of the throne. Hallelujah. He, he, John opens in one, saying, Grace be unto you, peace be unto you, from him which was, which is, which is to come. And then he says, And from the seven spirits of God. <coughs> he goes on in, in chapter 4 and 5, and you start, he starts talking about the land, the having the book, and all that stuff. And then he, and he, he talks about it at seven horns and seven eyes. And he says, but it is the seven spirits of God. And these seven spirits of God are sent forth into... Oh, hallelujah. You mean earth ain't going to it? No, it's sent to apprehend all of earth. Now, how is this going to take place? By the branch. Yes. Remember we talked about in the beginning, types and shadows. Yes. The first time we see anything about a branch as far as the top and shadow is in the tabernacle. Right. Amen. And it's in Exodus chapter 25 and it's verses 31 through 40, but I'm, not, I'm just going to read you the 31st verse. And thou shalt make a candlestick, that's King James, it should be lampstand, of pure gold. Pure gold. Of beaten work shall the candlestick be made. His, and here's what's beautiful. Sometimes King James puts stuff in there and you've got to catch it. That's right. yeah. Listen. Of beaten work shall the candlestick be made. Listen to the play on words here. His shaft. His branches, His bowls, come on, His knobs, no, right. His flowers. Yes. He, I wonder why they didn't say its yeah. branches, <laughs> its flowers, yeah. its knobs, yes. come on, its ornaments. Yeah. It's kind of like we're in there where it talks about the Jordan being the being, being uh, congealed all the way back to a city named Adam. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What's what? Come on. It's his. Everything of his. It's his yeah. candlestick. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Come on. Upon this rock I build my yeah. church. Right. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's his candlestick. It's His pure gold. Amen. It's coming out of His mind. All this right here is given to Moses. Come on. Out, out, out of the glory. Right. God's speaking to him out of the glory. And all this pattern. Hallelujah. Come on. And, and then He takes everything that He gives to, to, to Moses and He just transfers it right to the mind of Basilil to where Basilil's hands Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Man, I'm, here. I'm, I'm telling you right now, before he ever fashioned a shadow of a cherubim, he was a cherubim. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, because he was working with his hands, the very thought, the very man, he had to be that. Yes. Come on, that's what flows out of 
It's an extension of His anointing. It's an extension of His works. It's an extension of His ministry. It's an extension of His light. It's an extension. Come on, that's why He can look at you and say, you're the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid. Why? Because you're an extension of what He is. Hallelujah. Now what did this mean with Ruth? Honey, this is what you got to put on if you want to come and sit at his, or lay at his feet and what move till he moves Hallelujah. and hear him say, who are you? My, what an answer you have to give him when you have put on your best attire and you've washed yourself with the water and you've become acquainted with the Spirit. Hallelujah. There is no hesitancy. She doesn't wake say, huh, what? Is this a trick question? No, she immediately says, I am Ruth, thine handmaid. Spread your skirt, therefore. Therefore. What's the therefore, therefore? Because she knew who he, she was. That's why she can say, because I knew who I am. I am presently Ruth, something worth seeing. Your handmaid, hallelujah, I'm an extension of who you are. Therefore, spread your skirt. She broke every protocol there was. She said, marry me. Come into union with me. Ah. Because she recognized. Hallelujah. And that's what it is. You recognize it. You acknowledge it. Hallelujah. Everything that was depicted in him. Hallelujah. All the oil. All the fullness of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. That was given unto him without measure. Hallelujah. That same Spirit flows through the brain. The fact of the matter is, hallelujah, that there was one center shaft and, and three on this side coming out and three on this side coming out and on these three were nine ornaments and on these three were nine ornaments. Over here you had the Spirit, the gifts of the Spirit. Over here you had the fruit of the Spirit. But yet His anointing, the very life of Him, is what flowed through everything that these balls might give light. Now, I'm not going to get into all seven of these things. But I want you to know this, and I do mean this. When you look at the, the corporate man, you will not look at him and say, hey, this one's got a spirit of wisdom. This one's got a spirit of understanding. It won't be that way. This thing will be so balanced, you won't know one grace from the other grace. It'll be so compounded like that holy anointing oil. What I'm saying is all the myrrh and all the cinnamon and all the cassia and all the calamus and the hint of oil will be so well mixed in this body, hallelujah, that you will not be able to distinguish one thing from the other. Because it'll be God all in all. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 The principle of the candlestick is light and life. The more light you have, the more life you have. The more understanding you have. See, sometimes you in this body right here don't realize the life that you got. Because he's graced us with the ability, come on, to pull back. These things, hallelujah, revealed by the Spirit, the very inner present truths that are in these scriptures right now, hallelujah, and He's doing that so you can walk in a life greater than you've ever walked in before. Now that don't mean it's a bed of roses, but what I'm saying is you can walk in a place where thorns cannot touch you. You can walk in a place where bristles cannot be found, hallelujah. Oh, I'm not saying that, come on, that there's not this thing going on around of a red heifer made to where all that cannot come into your dwelling. He says in Psalms 91, no plague shall come nigh my dwelling. Now that's only the person that dwells in the secret place of the Most High. In the heights of Zion. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amplified tells you in Psalm 91 that he even puts you in a place where you don't even participate in war. That you look at your enemy slain. 
Come on, we want to, we've want we been so warfare conscious that we want to be the one out there fighting the battle all the time when he looks at you and says, the battle is the Lord's. I'm just trying to get you to stay in this place of life. I'm just trying to get you to stay in this place of life. I'm just trying to be in a perpetual worship unto me. Come on. Hallelujah. You can't take them garments off. Now, come on. In the shadow, they couldn't even come out. They couldn't come out of the sanctuary because there was such of a holy oil put on them. He says you won't walk out of the sanctuary because your head has been crowned with oil. See, that's the life. That's the high calling. That's why I'm trying to I'm trying to lose all this other stuff and lay my hands slap down in the middle of this. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, Lord. Hallelujah. I, I know. Come on. Hallelujah. I got one foot strong in that order. And I'm trying to drag this other one out of this other order. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. It says it can't be. It says it's until. And all that. I know all that. There is a consciousness that's in me. And there's a ministry that transcends all that. sowing and reaping. But it'll be based simply on speaking. 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 Bring me the beast. I'll speak. Hallelujah. 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 Of this candlestick in Exodus 25, there's never been a recorded measurement given for that piece of furniture. Amen. That's right. A church, beaten work of pure gold. Hallelujah. That have the Spirit flowing through them without measure. John 3.34 says, For he whom God hath sent speaketh the words of God. Right. For God giveth the Spirit of giveth the Spirit by measure. And then they had to add unto him. Right. Look it up. Right. Unto him is translated. It's in italics. Right. Unto him. How many? You've heard all your life. You've heard all your life that it was only unto him that it was given without measure. It didn't say, it wouldn't come on, it said unto the one that was sent by God. Unto the one that had the word of the Lord. Under the one that had the utterance, come on, that had the oracles of God. It was under Him. Was given the Spirit without measure. Well, I'm in Him. It's His candlestick. It's His beaten work. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 It's, it's, it's His extension. It's the extension of His rule. It's the extension of the kingdom. Oh, what was he saying to Adam? Be fruitful and multiply. He was saying, become a branch, son. Extend yourself. Extend this place of heaven and earth. Mingle together. Hallelujah. Extend all this. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. The same life that flows through the vine, flows through the branch. Yeah, same one. The same life. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's what Paul could say in Romans, that same spirit. Yes. If that same spirit will in you. Which raised Jesus from the oh, dead. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Him that raised Christ from the dead shall quicken your mortal bodies by you taking more vitamins every day. Is that what it says? Come on. By you exercising three hours a day, four days a week. Is that what the Bible says? Now there's nothing wrong with all that stuff, but I'm here to tell you that your body can be quickened a better way, and the only way is by the Spirit that dwelleth in you. There's a better way than plastic surgery. There's a better way than Botox. There's a better way than any kind of diet plan you ever thought of. It's called unity to the life that flows through the branch. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. 
Listen to John 3.34 to amplify this. Maybe it sets your mind at ease. For since he whom God has sent speaks the words of God, proclaims God's own message, God does not give him his spirit, spirit sparingly or by measure, but boundless is the gift God makes of his spirit. Hallelujah. Now you see in the previous verses, he was John's disciples come to him and say, Jesus is baptizing and there's people flocking to him. And he looks at them and says, man, I told you I wasn't the one. That's right. I was just sent to prepare the way. And he starts talking, giving illustrations of the bride. And, and come on, and the friend of the bride. But he's heard the voice. Woo, hallelujah. He's heard him who speaks God's own language. He's heard him, hallelujah, who has seen. He says he only testifies of what he's seen. that you 
may find your way into me and be planted in the house of me and flourish in my courts with green life, saith God, that which is fresh and springing forth, that which smells of the early morning and of the evening rain all at the same time. And yea, I say unto thee, if you can discern my body and discern who you are in that body as it flows with life through you, then all death will leave your house. All sickness will leave your home. All pain will leave your body. There will be no aches within thee, saith the Lord. I will heal your soul. I will heal your heart. I will heal your feelings. I will heal your emotions. And I will heal your body. And you will never know the pains of loss again. In me there is no loss, saith the Lord. But all is well and all is life and strength. So come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. For you are coming to partake of my body, saith the Lord. And to be found in me is to be found in life and perfection and divine health and glory. For I am the source of all life, saith the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, bless it. Hallelujah. Name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you,
time to give Jesus. Shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it. Oh, shalom. Oh! 